This is the A3 open category, subcategory A1, fly over people with a C0 aircraft less than 250 grams, including privately built, with a maximum speed. You require an operator ID, a fly ID is not required but recommended, and you may need commercial insurance if using it commercially. Remember with overflight, remain high. Do not fly low and buzz people. Next we have the A1 subcategory. And this is transitional aircraft, 250 grams to 500 grams, max speed 90 meters a second, just no overflight. Okay, so no overflight of uninvolved people. Okay, and all you need is your operator ID and read the manual and preferably do the flyer ID. The A2C of C is required if flying in built up areas. Now this is a subcategory A2, and this is with a A2C of C certificate. Okay, so again, 400 feet, 500 meters visual line of sight, and 50 meters horizontal separation from uninvolved people. No overflight of uninvolved people. You need operator ID, flyer ID, and the A2C of C to fly in a built up area. Right, this is with the A2C of C and a C2 marked aircraft up to 4 kilos in weight. You can fly 30 meters horizontal separation from uninvolved people. You cannot overfly uninvolved people and you can fly in a built up area. Okay, you need your A2C of C certificate, a flyer ID and an operator ID. Now, here we go into the one-to-one -one rule. Okay, so if your aircraft is C2 marked, okay, when you get below 30 meters as you come down, you must engage the slow speed mode. Okay, so here's our aircraft descending. At 15 meters, 50 meters horizontal separation. At 5 meters is the minimum, and it must be 5 meters from uninvolved people, be they in houses or cars. And finally, we have the A3 open category. Basically, anything can fly in the A3 open category. 250 grams, up to 25 kilos, in the countryside, out of the way of everyone else. You cannot fly in a built-up area, you cannot fly near events, and you cannot fly in recreational areas.